Welcome everyone to this week's video. Today we are on Fish Friday number 33 and we have a good one. This one tastes delicious, looks beautiful, and is a fish that you want to see on your table more often than not. Today we are talking about the... Bam! The common dolphin fish. Um, or, as you might more commonly know this, is mahi mahi um mahi mahi very popular fish in the in the culinary trade um very highly sought after but the actual name of this is the common dolphin fish so common dolphin fish or scientific name coryphena hipparis um again coryphena hipparis it is part of the family coryphenidae which is the dolphin fish family. Now it's very, I wanna make it very clear. I didn't think I would need to do this, but I wanna make it very clear that Coryphanidae, the dolphin fish, they are not related to dolphins. They are not mammals. There's not even really, no one's really sure why they are even called dolphin fish. I've found a whole bunch of different things, and yes, that is how you write Mahi Mahi. Um, I found a whole bunch of different conflicting opinions. Basically, I'm just going to say that no one really knows why they are called dolphins. Um, there's only two species in the family. There's the common dolphin fish, or the mahi-mahi, and the pompano dolphin fish. I don't really know the difference, so if I, in the process of this, I show a picture of a pompano dolphin fish, I do apologize. Um, but, seems, I think I got it right. Um, now these are, these are an open ocean predator that are found in the, um, very warm tropical equatorial waters, um, dev way in the, out in the open ocean. Apparently fishermen find these by looking for, um, birds, um, feeding on schools of fish because, you know, you've all seen the pictures on Discovery Channel or videos of like this giant ball of fish and then you got um, whales and other predators coming from the bottom and birds coming from the top. Well, that actually does happen. Um, and it's very often. So they're looking for birds because the birds, the birds are gonna be where their food is. These fish eat small, the, the common dolphin fish, mahi mahi, it eats very small fish, squids, pelagic crustaceans. You know, it's a pretty voracious predator. Um, so it's really looking for them balls. Um, it, they are very varied in color. You're predominantly going to see this sort of green back with a yellow bottom with blue spots throughout. Um, and they have a very tall but very narrow body. Green one. Um, now males are... Well, I've seen both males being larger than females and males being smaller than females. I'm not entirely on that one but I know one sex is um, bigger than the other um, I apologize on that. Um, males are going to have this much more pronounced forehead um, that is really obtrusive um, here's another picture this this is another male um, and see it just really big forehead that helps that forehead and even the females the females are going to have a much more rounded forehead um much more rounded and this is a female you can see that it's not really as intrusive and out there but the reason why these have those large foreheads is those are providing a bunch of muscle attachments um and we'll get into that in a little bit now, apparently these can get up to 6.5 feet, which is about two meters, um, and can weigh up to 88 pounds, 40 kilograms. That's actually pretty light, considering six foot, you know, over six foot fish only weighing 88 pounds, it's kind of small or light. Um, but usually when these are caught um, by like hook and line, they're going to be about, um, 7 to 13 kilograms which is about 15 to 30 pounds and only be a be, be about a meter long um now these don't live very long 
they can live up to five years but normally they're gonna be live about two years the reason why they don't live that long is because of how fast these things these things when they hatch from eggs they reach sexual maturity in only three to four months so basically they can go from baby to um mama or daddy in three to four months um, basically they grow in that time they go grow from a larva you know tiny thing to a foot and a half ish about 45 centimeters that's when they reach um sexual maturity. they are broadcast spawners basically they just have a big conglomeration of dolphin fish females release eggs uh, males release the sperm and whatever happens happens um as i said these are part uh these are predominantly warm tropical waters in fact it does seem to be that they want to be waters over 90 degrees fahrenheit about 32 degrees celsius these these want to be in water that's warmer than your bathtub um now the the fun fact for to end this fish sorry that there's this is order one but the fun fact for this why how do a lot of people well obviously there's a taste but there's actually something very interesting about how they eat you remember i said their um forehead is for muscle attachment well those muscle attachments are actually so that they can get their speed up these things are a very very fast swimmer they can swim up to ne uh, nearly 60 miles per hour i think it was 57 it's fastest which that's about 96 97 kilometers per hour so these things are booking it and they use that speed to get one of their favorite prey items which is flying fit um this is actually a picture of one um according to where i got the picture from it is jumping after a flying fit why you couldn't have just gotten both but these things launch themselves out of the water for that I should also mention, I completely forgot about this. They have that very, very long dorsal fin that extends the entire length of the body. So that's kind of your fact. Now, these things, as far as like food goes, you can buy Mahi Mahi. It seems to be about $16 a pound. That's about what the price of these. Um, these are not endangered not that uncommon um they're normally caught in a very sustainable manner these things are obviously going to reproduce at a great enough rate that it's going to be hard to overfish these but please let me be very clear that we can over humans can overfish anything if they wanted we overfished anchovies but these things right now doing real well they're a beautiful fish very tasty um, a lot of people know Mahi Mahi from a fish fillet. They couldn't tell you what one looked like. This is it. And this is obviously a male. That very large, straight. But thank you guys so much again. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again. If I don't, please be safe. Have a great day. Listen, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. Here is the weekend. And please, please, please stay warm out there. I hope you have been doing well. Um, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and once again, thank you.